What's going on guys? I'm Tim with bleepinjeep.com. In today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at some rock rings available from Rock and Road Performance. I'm gonna start with the, uh, the wheel here. This is a Pro Comp D window wheel, pretty standard steel wheel that many of us have on our Jeeps. So I'm gonna show you how to sand the paint off of this, how to weld, stay on the table, how to weld your new rock ring to the wheel and how to sand it, finish it, and prepare it for paint. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so when you buy a set of rock rings from Rock and Road, this is how they are gonna come. These are 100% made in the USA and they are CNC plasma cut in-house. And uh, some different thicknesses are available. I'm going with the 3 because that should be plenty for my needs and it's not too heavy. So be sure to take a look at those if you're in the market for some rock rings. All right, so the next thing that we are gonna do is align this on the wheel, find out where we need to sand, and then prep the wheel for welding. In order to reduce the amount of sanding that we'll have to do, I'm gonna set the rock ring on the wheel here and get the scallops lined up the best I can with the existing pattern of the, of the 15 inch D window wheel and they don't quite perfectly line up. However, they do line up um, a, certain, a certain way here. And then through the second scallop over from the rock and road symbol here, I have uh, access to the valve stem. So I'm just making sure that I do all five of these wheels exactly the same. And once I have this lined up uh, pretty good here, I'm gonna take a sander and just indicate where the welds are gonna go real quick. Just scuff up the paint a little bit. Using a fresh flash wheel makes pretty easy work of removing the paint off these wheels. I also sanded the back side of the weld area. I found that when you weld on top of this paint, it tends to catch on fire, drip, and smoke a lot. And none of us need to be breathing those kind of fumes. So go ahead and do this as well. So I have the rock ring placed back on top of the wheel and you can kind of see the alignment that uh, I'm going for now. And this is ready to weld. We have everything cleaned up. Now I'm just going to take some clamps, lightly clamp this down, tack all the corners, then we'll burn this on. Once you have the rock ring tacked in place and everything's good at the alignment, next thing to do is to weld these big old beads in here and fill that thing up. These take quite a while and you want to try to fill this as high as you can because I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but those go in pretty deep. And if you don't fill this um, enough on the first pass, you're probably going to have a bunch of holes left that you'll have to go back and sand if you care about the way they look. Um, or if you can weld these good enough, then you can just lay a nice bead in there and you don't necessarily have to sand it out at all. Uh, my beads were not so hot on my first wheel, so I decided to sand it. And now because of that, I'm sanding all five of these, which is way more work and not necessary if you can make a nice bead. But that is the direction I'm going and they look pretty sweet after all that work is done. All right, let's fire up the welder and start laying some metal. So that's about half of what each bead is gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna sand all this out like I was saying, so basically I'll do that. This half, I'll come into it with this one, repeat that on these particular rings uh, four times, four, four welds that big. And then once I am completely done with the welding, then uh, it's gonna be time to sand these all the way down and make them look nice and pretty like that one. 
All right, so here it is, freshly welded, still too hot to touch. Next thing to do is to sand this down after it's cool a little bit. I'm gonna do that just with a flap disc. You're gonna to wanna to try to hold the flap disc as flat as possible. You'll end up with a nice result like you see here. Like I was talking about earlier, if you don't fill it up high enough with the weld, you're gonna end up with a whole bunch of ugly low spots like you see right in here. And even though it sucks, the solution for this is to go back and fill all this with weld because you're just gonna make a whole bunch of low spots if you try to sand it all out. Once you weld up all the low spots, sand it down again, and then we can start to really clean things up and make these look nice. Once you're done with the flap disc, the next phase of this will be to use the DA. And we're gonna hold this flat as we can and it's just gonna make this really nice and smooth and keep everything super flat so you don't see any waves or divots in your uh, finished product. All right guys, after spending a few minutes of da -ing on the wheel, you end up with this. I used uh, 40 grit DA pads and it worked pretty good. Got most of the sander marks out. And I have the light shining this way across it so you can see that it is pretty flat. I have the other four rock rings welded, sanded, painted over there um, by the Jeep drying. This is the last one. And the only thing that I can say that I was doing special on these is I was starting with the paint in here and just making sure I really coat the back side of the ring and all the cracks where any water might happen to sit. And uh, then after that, flip it around and blast the front real quick. And that is it. Um, I did wipe these down with some denatured alcohol after the DA process just to get rid of any oils. All right guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you are interested in a set of rock rings, from Rock and Road Performance. Be sure to check out their website, rockandroadperformance.com. And as usual, there are links in the description below. Uh, at the time of this video, these rings are $35 a piece, a set of four for $140. Uh, or you can have your wheels shipped to Rock and Road and they will clean the paint off your wheel, sand it, weld these on, DA, and do everything you just saw I, myself do in the video for $120 per wheel, including rock rings for a 15 inch wheel. All right guys, well like normal, please thumbs up our videos, like, share with your friends, etc. And if you haven't, please check out bleepandjeep.com and be sure to hit the subscribe button. After the paint dried on all five of these rock rings, my buddy Greg took these over to Duncan's Automotive in Citrus Heights, California, where he mounted and balanced all five of these tread right tires. These 33-1250s will be going on my Jeep Project Green Machine, so be sure to check out that playlist for all the videos I've done, it, done on it in the past, and there's going to be a lot more to come in the next few weeks. All five of these tires bounced real nicely, and I am really looking forward to getting these on the Jeep and giving you guys a real-world review of these Treadrite tires. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Thanks.